Hi. Hi, Maggie. I love your bed. <gasps> Thank you. Like, it's, it's so like, cool, right? It's the most insane bed. Oh my God, it's huge. Yeah, no, thanks. Hey everyone, it's your girl, Emily Curl with iHeartRadio. And today we're joined by the talented artist, Maggie Lindemann. Hi, Maggie. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm excited to do this. It's gonna be so fun. So today we're playing speed dating <laughs> and we have four dates lined up for you today and all four of them happen to be super fans of yours. So each of your dates get one minute to spend with you. They can ask you questions, you can ask them questions and at the end of the dates, you'll pick one winner who is the best date. Okay, so before we dive in, in your opinion, what do you think makes a good first date? Um, someone that just can make me feel comfortable. I'm a naturally very awkward person. So if I feel like no awkwardness and just like comfortable and I don't know if I can open up to you like immediately, that's usually like a really good sign. Ooh, that is a good sign. Oh, and speaking of signs, what is your astrological sign? I'm a cancer. Ooh, and that's important for dating, I feel like. <laughs> it <laughs> you is. You gotta know. It is. it is. I'm so into astrology, so. But let's go ahead and bring in contestant number one. Are we ready? Yep. Let's do it. All right, so let's bring in Sophie. Hi. Hi, Ring. How are you? I'm so happy. I love you so much. Oh, like, I love you. Ring. So nice to talk to you. I saw um, a few people were saying that they were really happy that you won on Twitter. So I'm really happy to be talking to you. Oh, thank you so much. Where are you from? I'm from Argentina. Oh, wow. That's and, so cool. Yeah, and I hope that someday if you do a tour, um, you come here because you have much, you have a lot of fans here. And yeah, we'll I would love to. No, I will definitely do my best to get over there. I mean, hopefully when the pandemic, you know, slows yeah. down a little bit, I'll be able to tour everywhere. But yeah, I know. Yeah, I've I know. seen a lot of Argentina people saying they want me to come, so I'm definitely hoping. Yeah, please come. <laughs> I will, I will, and I hopefully we'll be able to meet you in person. <laughs> so no, yeah, me too. Know. And I have to ask, what is your sign? Do you know what your astrology sign is? Yeah, um, Aquarius. Aquarius. You're an Aquarius? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love Aquariuses. <laughs> Thank you for being here. That was your one minute and amazing job. I'm gonna go ahead and send you back to the waiting room. Okay, so Maggie, we're back. So this is now like your confession time. So tell me a little bit, what'd you think about your first date, Sophie? I loved her, she was so sweet. She was so cute. She's an Aquarius, I love Aquariuses. So I loved her, she was really cute. She was really sweet. Yeah. Now is your dog also there? And is it like a priority for you to date someone who also loves dogs? <laughs> okay, so yes, she's barking. Like, what are you barking at? But um, I foster dogs, so I'm actually allergic to dogs. Um, which is like the worst thing ever, but I foster them because it's like a perfect amount of time that I can like watch them and my allergies aren't too bad if I take a allergy medicine every morning, but yeah, I'm allergic. So sometimes when people have dogs, it's actually not good for me. It's a deal breaker. So let's go ahead and bring in date number two. Are you ready to meet Mal? Yes. Hi. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm happy to be talking to you. Where are you from? I'm from Argentina. Oh, what? You too? That's so sick. We're in Argentina. Uh, Buenos Aires. That's yeah, how old are you? I'm 15 and I'm turning 16 on March. Okay, are you a Pisces? Yes. <laughs> Aww, <laughs> that's cool. Cancers and Pisces are supposed to be really compatible, so. I, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, so that means we're compatible. So the state's going good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you learning something about astrology? I'm really trying, but I can't. <laughs> it's hard. No, it is really hard. I like was not into it when I first found out about it. I was kind of just like, oh, like I know I'm a Cancer, but like I don't know anything about it. But then I feel like over quarantine, I got like super into it because there's like nothing to do, so. I used to think something super different from my card and now I like different from the beginning. Yeah. I was whole Pisces and now I'm a Leo too. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if you know like your whole chart, like it'll tell you your like different signs for different things. So you might have Leo, do you know? Have you, do you know your whole yeah. chart? I used to have rice in Pisces, but my mom told me the wrong time. So me now too. I, so I'm now rice in Leo. Oh, okay, so that makes sense. So you do have some Leo in you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I hate to interrupt because I too love astrology. I know, really Jim and I. <laughs> I'm fully enjoying this conversation. But Mal, your one minute is up. Thank you so much for being here. Great conversation. We're gonna send you back to the waiting room, but we'll circle back with you in just a few. Okay, so let's talk about Mal. What'd you think? How did that thing go? Yeah, she was cool. She was really chill and I felt like she was easy to talk to. She was really cute. She was really nice. Let's bring in contestant number three, Ari. Hi. Hi, Maggie. I love your bed. <gasps> Thank you. Like, it's so like, cool, right? It's the most insane bed. Oh my God, it's huge. Yeah, no, thanks. Um, yeah, so, hi. That. I'm from Linda Rats. Oh my God, yes. Hey. Um, <laughs> hey, Bestie. So, my first question is. If you could travel with me to any part of the world, where would we go? Okay, well, I first have to know, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know, are you more of like a tropical person? Do you like the cold? Like, where do, where do you like? Um, I think I like both, so. Both? Yes. Hmm. Well, I don't know, I really want to go to Greece. I feel like Greece would be a fun time. So, okay, the next question is, what song will you choose to describe your life right now? Um, oh my God, that's a good question. I don't even know. I feel like, okay, you know that song, I Love College by Astor Ross? <laughs> I feel like that's my life, except I'm, I'm not in college. It's just like, I love like LA. And I will take it out. What is your favorite part of making an album, recording songs and videos and all that? Uh. Just being able to like make stuff, being able to like create and talk about things that like I want to talk about, but maybe I wouldn't like tweet about or something, just stuff that like it goes on in my life that I like to talk about. Um, and then just having everyone hear it is my favorite part too, because then I get like the responses and like see people's actual reactions. And that's like such a good feeling just to see that. Ari, amazing question. Yeah, that was really good. good. You feel that. <laughs> Thank you. Be prepared. Great job, Ari. We're yeah. gonna send you back to the waiting room, but we'll bring you back in just a bit. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna talk to Maggie. And we'll Bye, Maggie. Again. I love you. Bye. Love you. Okay, Maggie. Let me just say, when she had her notepad of questions, I was like, <laughs> she pulled it out. She's like, she was ready. And also, let me tell you that I love the song "I Love College." As you said that, I was like laughing behind the screen. Yeah. Like, I was like, <laughs> what is a song that can describe me? Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I love college. Love it. Um, okay, so before we go into the last date, final thoughts on Ari. I loved her. I mean, she was she came with the questions, which was nice because I don't know. I just it felt very engaged. It felt like she like really, I don't know, just like wanted to be on a date with me. You know, she like had questions for me, and that was nice. <laughs> I love the first one, and she was like, "Where are we going? Our first trip." I, I was know. Like, I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I don't know. I gotta think about this. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> All right, well, we have one more contestant. Are you ready to meet her? Yes. Let's bring in Sarah. How are you? Oh, I'm so good, thank you. It feels yeah. so good to see you. I know, it's so nice to talk to you. I always see you on Twitter, so it's so cool to... <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, how does it feel to have your... Finally, your EP out, like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, it feels so good. Like, I just feel, I don't know. I'm just so happy that you guys can finally hear it. I know you guys have been really wanting it for like years. So yeah. it's really cool to finally have it out and like it be real finally. And it's cool now because I can like move on and like start making more new stuff, like an album or whatever I'm gonna do, which is cool. Cause I feel like I've, I've had this project done for so long, but now I'm able to like move on and like do something else, which is really fun. Oh my God, I have a question. Yeah. When you talk about tour, do you think about me sometimes? Yeah, <laughs> yes, I don't know how you have so many updates. Like it's insane. You know stuff that I don't even know. I'm like, wait, really? I'm doing this? Wait, like, I'm literally spending my life all over internet to find news and stuff and everything. 
<laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Have um, I'm wondering, do you like want to go to like for a profession? Do you ever think about getting into something like that? Yes, I really want to work on a label or something. Just, yeah, I really want to do that. Yeah, you really should. You're really good at it. You're Thank very you. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I always think about like when I'm on tour and stuff, like I always get pictures from you. Like I'll see you post a picture of me like on stage that I didn't see. That's like a fan picture. And I'm like, oh my God, like, that's so cute. <laughs> love it. It's amazing. Then I have to ask, what is your astrology sign? Uh, I'm uh, Aquarius. You're an Aquarius? Well, yes, my birthday is on Monday. <gasps> oh my God, happy early birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> how, how old are you turning? 18. Wow! Oh my God, it's a yes. big day for you. I'm wow! So excited. Oh, I I'm bet. So Happy early birthday. That's so exciting. Thank you. Oh my God, thank you, Sarah. Unfortunately, we have to wrap. Your minute is oh, off. Okay. I love well, you so you much. So much for being here, you. and we're gonna see you back to the you. Amazing. Okay, so final recap of Sarah. Your last date. She was great too. She, I like know her from Twitter, so it was cool to like talk to her and like see the face and. Yeah, she was really sweet and she came with questions too. So she was really good too. <laughs> and she knows her stuff. She's done yeah, everything. She does. For sure. She does. Um, all right. Well, that concludes our speed dating segment. So now it's time to pick a winner. So we're going to bring all four contestants back in. Okay. <laughs> and you have to pick your favorite date and you can eliminate one by one. You can pick them all. You can pick one at a time, whatever you want to do. Okay. You all did an amazing job. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to give it away to Maggie and she's going to talk a little bit about it and pick her favorite date. Yeah. Okay. I hate that I even have to pick a favorite because you guys all killed it. You guys were all amazing dates. You were so fun to talk to mm -hmm. and seriously like made me feel so comfortable. I didn't ever feel awkward with any of you guys, which is like my number one thing when I'm on a date. Like if I feel awkward with them, it's like, it's not going to work. So yeah, it's not gonna work. So thank yeah. you guys for being so cool. I hate that I even have to pick a winner. But I think the winner is gonna have to be Ari because she came in with the questions. Like she came in, she pulled up her notes and came in and, and just asked me every question, which I just, I don't know, I really liked. And um, guys, you all did so amazing. And I would go on a second date with all of you guys. So I love you and thank you so much for talking to me. <laughs> I can attest, you all did such an amazing job, truly. Ari, do you have any thoughts? Um, yes, um, thank you. <laughs> I love you so much. Um, so where are we going to Greece? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have to wait until this pandemic settles down, but we are going to Greece. Thank you, Sophie, Mal, Ari, and Sarah for being such great contestants on our speed dating segment. And thank you so much, Maggie, for being here. For everyone watching, make sure you stream Paranoia out now on iHeartRadio. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.